So we've just taken the trouble to set up all of our arguments and uh, let's just take a look at how the program will, will, will run when we use these some of these arguments. For instance, here we can change the number of the passwords to two and we see that it will generate just two with three words each. Uh, and if we set this to a seed of nine and use the sonnets, then this should be exactly reproducible by you when you run it. And, and just keep in mind there is the, the solution here is in the directory. You can run the solution with this if you want. Um, so um, the minimum word length is going to help us filter out the shorter words like a, i, the, things like that. We don't want those words. Um, it, so here if we, if we increase the minimum word length to, to something like uh, 10 characters and then uh, a maximum of 20, we see that we can get some pretty uh, long passwords here, perspective succession intelligence. Um, so uh, some pretty interesting, uh, it really changes the way the, the program runs when you, when you modify these. Um, we're going to take these, like say per, uh, uh, this messenger revolution importune, and if we were to give that to our ransom program, we would get back something like this, where the, the letters have been changed from title case for each word to randomly uh, uh, it, it uppercased and lowercase here throughout. And then to, to do the leet uh, option, we're going to do that first, and then we're going to use this substitution table, which looks uh, very similar to what you did in Jump to 5. So you could uh, use one of any, any one of your solutions from there, uh, string translate or uh, maybe a list uh, comprehension with a dictionary to do uh, substitutions. And then uh, popping a random piece of using random choice and choosing something from string punctuation to stick on the end here, like the dollar sign or the caret. So uh, we can really mod we can really change the output of our program by uh, modifying with these uh, all these flags, and I think that that is kind of fun to look at. So um, how are we going to make this work? Um, uh, so oh uh, oh I missed I missed one of the. Uh, Oh, I realize. Oh, yes. Okay, I did. There are some positional arguments, and I totally missed them. Um, so let's go back and add those, uh, because it'll be our input files. Um, totally missed that. Let's do this. Uh, I will add. Um, so they are going to be uh, positional, so we don't need this. Um, and it's going to be, I think I just call it file. And it'll be uh, input file. And uh, these will be file. And the type is going to be an arg parse.file type. And it needs to be a uh, readable text file. And the def uh, there's not going to be a default here for this. And, uh, oh, and we want one or more. So that's going to be in args equals to plus. Um, sorry, I forgot about that. And now what we want to be able to do is to run our program and print each of our files. Um, so uh, I'm going to change this from printing OK. And I, I have a suggestion here for how to get started. Uh, the first thing we want to do is set our random seed. That's always a good thing to do. So we say random seed is set to args at seed. And that means, of course, that we're going to need to import the random module. Import random. And then uh, we want to be able to loop through our file. So for remembering that um, args file now is going to be a list of open file handles. So since they're file handles, I'm going to call them fh. So for uh, file handle and args.file, I'm just going to print the name of the file. Uh, let's just do that. So if I try to run this this uh, program with no inputs, it's going to tell me that these are required. I'll just you know start off with the constitution files. So uh, it's printing uh, adjectives, nouns, and verbs, which are in there. If we, if we ls the constitution, yes, those are the files that are in there. Okay, so um, uh, that's how we're going to get started. Here's a string diagram thinking about all the different uh, inputs that we have, and we're going to uh, create some sort of passwords. Like, for instance, for these inputs, we're going to create those passwords. Um, uh, if we test this with... Uh, and here I'm just showing that, that we can start this with using the, the words file. So uh, if you want to use the same words file that's on my, uh, from my computer that I've included in the, uh, uh, in the repository, it is in the inputs directory, and it's called words.text.zip. Um, we need to unzip that file, so let's uh, just go over to the inputs directory real quick, and I'll unzip, unzip words.txt. 
and now you should have a, uh, a the same words.txt that I have on my system. So I go back here and I can run my password with the inputs uh, the inputs words.txt so that we're both working with the same files. So um, that's how we're going to get started here. Now uh, we need to read these files into a structure so that uh, we can have a unique list of all the words. So um, let's break the video here and let's pick it up in the next one.